Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, May 24th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. This week we are examining an extraordinary painting taken from the St. John's Bible, which in and of itself is quite a miraculous work of art. The true St. John's Bible is hand calligraphied and can be bought for a church and can be used on Sundays it is gorgeous. You can see it on display sometimes at, at our conferences. This is just a book that you can buy a replica of the Gospels themselves, but in it is some of the incredible art, including this painting, John the Baptizer looking back at the scene of the Gospel of Mark. And I noticed that in the distance on the far right, there is a shadow of what looks like a temple or a Roman building, foreshadowing of things to come. We continue this morning in the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel has a wonderful turn today. He says to the people, though you are far away from Israel, though you are in exile, yet God is promising to bring you back. Just hold on tight, stay faithful. I will come for you. I will bring you back to the land. We always think about um, the exile as being a time of where the prophets just ranted and raved about the misfortune of the people and their, their terrible actions that they were punished for. But we also forget that part of that prophecy entailed a kind of fidelity on God's part, that even though things were really bad, God wasn't going to forget them. And even though they were far from home, God would bring them home again. At the end of his vision, Ezekiel sees some cherubim and wheels, which are different kinds of angelic uh, celestial beings, and they lift up with the glory of God out of Jerusalem to a mountain. And from there, Ezekiel himself flies to Chaldea, where the exiles are, to bring this message to them. So, so the angels travel with them. The angels and God come with them into exile and will lead them back home again. So when things get rough and you feel like you don't belong, don't ever believe that's the end of the story. There's always more. There can always be a resurrection, a return, a coming home. Let us pray. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask you to give us hope, perseverance, strength, so that when things get difficult, we may put our trust in you, trusting that things will also get better. That in the end, the darkness doesn't have the last say, even in the prophets of the Hebrew scriptures. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, that you would bless those who are dying, the hungry, those who are incarcerated, homeless, struggling with mental illness or addiction, those who find themselves alone. We ask that you would grant us wisdom today to be our hands and feet in this world, to not be distracted or dismayed, but to quietly and steadfastly do your work. We ask you to bring peace to this earth, peace to our households, peace to the city, peace to the whole world peace to the church. And we ask you to give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you have made. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.